doing well. Hope everything is well. I am excited about today. Um, yeah, I'm excited about today. I am going live because <laughs> I was supposed to go live earlier and I did not. And then I went live and forgot to add people, add y'all into the stream. Let me fix my hair. I feel like, as always, stuff is <laughs> crazy. All right, guys. Um, let me just share. Let me find this link and just uh, share it right quick if I can. How are y'all doing? Come on in. Y'all up? Who else up besides me? Because I just um, was watching a live. <laughs> I should have been in bed. I was going to go live earlier with y'all, but I got caught up watching uh, somebody else's live, y'all. And <laughs> whoo, y'all. Mm -mm -mm, I tell you. All right, I'm just sharing this, um, sharing this with people so they can see that I am live because I didn't tell nobody I was going live. But um, let's see. Oh, Lord. Did I come on? I think I came in wrong live. Let's see. I think I came in wrong, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to have to. Uh, how are y'all doing? Hey, y'all. Hey, Mr. Hillary, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Yes, I'm up late doing a stream because I promised to do the stream for somebody. And um, I have just been so busy that I didn't um, get to do a stream. So I am up doing the stream. And um, I just, one last place, let's see. I'm up doing the stream. Cause I'm about to pack with y'all and um, I'm up with sketchy internet. You up with sketchy. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Adriana, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me. Thank y'all for joining me over on um, Facebook. I see I have some people from Facebook over. I have some people here from YouTube. Good evening. Up. Uh, you up late to do a stream. I am. I am up late to do a stream, but I'm going to do the stream because I promised somebody that I would do it. I was supposed to do it. Um, earlier, but I got caught up. Y'all, I got caught up. So it is what it is. I got caught up. Hey, peace, loving Lucy. How are you doing? I got caught up on somebody else's stream and they're in tied into their conversation. Oh, thank you. Somebody gave me a love. Hey, Adriana. Hey, peace, loving Lucy. Hey, Mr. Hillary. Y'all, somebody got, um, I got caught up. Uh, <laughs> um, to uh some on somebody else's live blind guy his wife and their life i'm up with sketch internet good to see you yeah and um yes up up on somebody else's live listening to the stuff they had going on and before you know what it is 10 o'clock <laughs> here uh where i am so Let's see. I'm just so to let y'all know, so I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm just sharing y'all. So it is what it is. We're going to get in here and share, do this live and get out of here quick. I won't be long. I promise I won't hold you long. I'm going to share one more pay, place if I can find it. Um, yeah, there it is. Find one more play. Well, I lied. I'm going to do two more places. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but this is it. This is um this is the life, y'all, when you have to um when you do YouTube, it's the YouTube life, I'm telling y'all. So uh let's see your I have a group, y'all. If y'all like political stuff, I have a group on Facebook. It's called Your Voice, Your World. I don't talk about it much, but if you are into political stuff here and what's going on in the U.S., kind of talk about political stuff going on here, then that's where you find me. So, Mr. Hillary, good evening. Yes, I'm up late with this crazy hair. Uh, I was just in there. Then I had to go look. So then I was live. So then, of course, I had to go tell hubby what was going on. <laughs> so I had to give him the rundown. <laughs> All right. Yes. Hey, blind guys, his wife. So glad to see you, Adriana, Mr. Hillary. Yes. Welcome. 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 Are you move, really moving to Africa? Everybody asks me that. Um, I really am. If I, you know, if um, the only thing um, 
is going to be our timetable. So I know we'll be traveling there. And so that's exciting. I'm excited about that. And um, so we'll be traveling there. And I don't know if I'll spend part of my time here still in the U.S. or if we'll still, you know, come back and forth because still have family and friends here. And my husband's family is still elderly. So, you know, it'll just kind of um, depend on how the timing, how everything sort of works out. But, yeah, that's our plan. Hi, peace, love, and Lucy. Good to see you. Adriana, fine. Glad you are fine. Deuce and that Gambia. Hello, family. Are y'all up too? Because y'all in the same city with me. Not too far from me. So y'all better go to bed. Blind guys, his wife, um, and their life. Yes, Mr. Hillary is so kind. Um, I need to go over and do something in YouTube before, because uh, YouTube has little checks and balances that you have to do over in there. Um, so I need to go and do something real quick with them, uh, to tell them to do certain things <laughs> behind the science things. I'm telling you, I'm new at all of this. So I have to remember to do certain things with, um, YouTube. So they will treat me right. That's all I'm going to say on that. Cause they, they likes to, um, act up from time to time, but I hope y'all are well, I hope y'all are having a, um, have had a good day. I really have had a good day. I have been um, resting most of the day. I took this day to just really rest and um, and do nothing. I did, this is the first day in a long time because I had planned to go early, um, planned to go live earlier today because y'all know I usually go live during the daytime, but yes. I did not because I um I went to I, I didn't go to sleep. I was gonna say I went to sleep. I tried to take a nap, it didn't work out. But I um <laughs> I had a rest day. And you know, I we talk about we preach self-care and self-love over here. So um, you know, sometimes you just have to take those days where you're just um taking a day off, you are resting, and I actually took a class today and I have not um, taken a class in a long time and it felt good just to um, take this class and just to learn. Yeah, I, I did. I, I just took this class and, I, and I, I learned some things today that I had and that I was interested in, um, but I hadn't just hadn't had time to learn. Right. So yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm excited about what I learn, and I'm excited that I'm going to get to bring some of this information to you all. So, you know, I'll be processing a lot of that, and then I will be sharing it very, very soon. So, yes, Mr. Hillary, peace and love. Thank you so much. Um, you're welcome, blind guy and his wife and his life. Thank y'all for being up with me. Shared your live already. Thank you guys. If you haven't already, please share. It really does help the stream when you guys share. And when you guys um, share the broadcast, it lets, um, you know, it lets YouTube know that, hey, this is a stream that um, is something that people are interested in and there's good information. So please share. Everyone, please uh, like and share. Make sure you're respectful in your comments and enjoy the stream. Thank you so much. Please give us a thumb up on your way in. I will appreciate it very much. You look fine, sis, but thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I had to get up and put on some real clothes. Lord, I, you know, I had to do some real quick <laughs> so I can come on. Hey, so now, hey, Tamara, how are you doing? I hope you are well. Uh, wow, that is amazing. Yeah, we're excited. Hubby and I are planning excited. It's little, little, small, small. Um, we're waiting on a couple of things to happen. There are elections that are going on in... Um, Tanzania and they're just, you know, in, in Kenya as well. So we're waiting on some things to more things to come together and waiting to see how the, all this is going to work out. But we're definitely researching to find the best place in the best area, um, the best country, because there are 54 beautiful countries and a lot of them are closed. So I was saying on another break broadcast that I was really excited about Cape Verde, but, um, you know, Cape Verde is closed right now. So there's some places I'd love to go like Madagascar. That's also closed places that I'd love to go and visit, but they're closed because of COVID. So, 
yeah, that's a part of our holdup. <laughs> but welcome to everyone over on Facebook. I appreciate you for joining me and I am glad that you are here. Spirit Liberty. Hey, 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 is Sabrina coming? Uh, this is Sabrina coming from Washington State. Welcome, Sabrina. Thank you so much for being here. Miss Hillary, Sister Tamara, strong sister. Yes. And if you haven't checked out that interview that I did with Tamara, um, please check it out. I had a wonderful live with her and she she has some amazing things. She um, gave her DNA, ancestry DNA reveal. So please go check her out. It was an amazing, amazing experience. I also did an interview recently with um, Giselle. So that's new as well. And I did a, um, for those of you who are repatriating, I had a live and we talked about um, not having an idealized view of Africa. So if it, if you would be so kind, please go check that video out. Um, I think there's a lot of good things in there. Welcome, Sister uh, Spirit of Liberty. Yes, Spirit Liberty. Welcome from Washington. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hillary. And elections in Ghana, too. Yeah, there are elections everywhere. So I want to kind of wait until I kind of see. I I have a lot of respect for Prince. Um, for Prince. I always want to say Prince. For <laughs> Mr. Uh, President Nana Ado. So I have mad respect for him. So I just really, really appreciate him so much. Um, he's done a great job and I'm just really proud of the work that he does. And he always says, you know, I'm just so proud to be your president and I'm just, um, you know, very gracious. So I appreciate that. Hey, Mr. Hillary says Tamara. Yeah. Go check out that video with Tamara. Um, that interview that I did, um, in the videos, you will really enjoy it. And then Mr. Hillary, if you all like to support her, <laughs> if you'd like to support Sanaf, if you'd like to support me, um, you can donate through PayPal. Yes, you can donate through PayPal. Um, you can PayPal me Sanaf or you go fund me and there's the, there are the links. So, wow. Mr. Hillary, you are awesome. Um, yes, I watched that idealized view stream, you know, because we do, we often will have an idealized view of um, America and, uh, well, of Africa. And we, you know, of course, the West isn't paved in gold. So it's, you know, it's good to plan and to research. And um, so you really know where you're going and really have a plan laid out, you know, the political structures, you know, the economic structures, you know, uh, cultural, how it is, you know, culturally in those um, different countries. And so I just advise you to really, really plan. All right. So you can send a note donation to me via PayPal um, for, you know, just as small as a latte to support this um, broadcast, because we're all about supporting black media. So PayPal is, um, um, let's see, PayPal is my email, myrepatjourney at gmail.com. And then I think I said that wrong. Cash app is a uh, dollar sign Sanaf. So, um, but you all get the, let's see if I need to edit that. So, um, PayPal is, let me edit that. Uh, let's see, my repat journey. Let me spell it right at gmail.com. And a cash app is there, it is. And say, let's see, let's scroll and see if that's right. Say, PayPal, uh, my repat journey at gmail.com. And cash app is um, pounds is dollar sign Sanab to support black media. Welcome everyone who's going to be watching the replay. I appreciate it so much. Replay Nation, I love you guys and I appreciate your support. You can also send a um, Let's see. I did that one. Oh, you can also join Patreon, um, but you can also hit the join button below, right? And become a member of this channel. And that really does um, help us out. You can hit that join button. It's right beside your subscribe button and you become can become an exclusive member. Also, um, I launched a t-shirt line. So um, on Teespring. So if you um, would like to um, purchase a t-shirt, um, it really would, uh, let's see, be a big help uh, to my repat journey. So all you have to do, I'm going to put this link if I can find it. I'll put this link in below. But Tonight, we are really packing. I'm going to show you um, something that I found um, that I'm going to use 
um, to pack some things. And I so said, we're going to do a little packing. I did some purging the other day. So um, I did some packing the other day. So now we're going to do a little bit of packing together and have some fun. Let's see if this is the line. Oh, let's see. There it is. All right. So um, I'm going to put the link to the store. So uh, here is the Teespring. Uh, T T-shirt line. And merch. Let's see. So there it is. So this is a t-shirt line in the merch. There it is. And I will also drop it in the um, comments below. T-shirt line and merch. Uh, there it goes. I will drop it in the link below so that you can see it. There it is. And so if you'd like to um, be a part of that, uh, then you can. Um, got some really great offerings, I think, of um, the different t-shirts. Uh, that I have. So I'll show you these really, really quick and then we'll get into, um, there they are. See, aren't they cute? Isn't she lovely? All right. So here is the line guys. So we have, um, a black love line, which, you know, I talk about black love all the time here. And so there are t-shirts, there are tote bags, there are fanny packs, uh, classic tees, sweatshirts, right? And all different colors. So you can choose different colors. I'm just showing a couple of the colors here. An accessory pouch. I like to use this accessory pouch to put all my goodies in there. Oh, you know, hair stuff, makeup, but also guys, I like to use this to put my accessories in there chargers and phone chargers and cords and stuff like that. There is a mug for you coffee drinkers, but I like tea and water. You can put a little palm in there too. It's okay. <laughs> this slouchy sweatshirt is my favorite. There's a black love sticker, a uh, tote bag for when you're shopping, of course, t-shirts. And face mask, uh, baby items, things for teen, uh, teens and for kids. Um, long sleeve shirts here. Um, there's the Africa line, as you can see. And what more do you need to say about Africa? It's beautiful, right? So I just did this amazing, uh, which I think that, you know, the map speaks for it all. There are mugs, beautiful things, um, bags and pullover hoodies and things. Uh, there's a tank top, you know, face mask, everything. And then my repad journey, right? My email. And so um, this is um, what we talk about here, my repad journey and their accessory pouches, same things, you know, uh, women's Floyd um, tank tops, men's shirts, men's, and all of the different lines. I have things for men. I have things for women. I have things for kids. Everybody has something for every one. All right. So <laughs> go check that out. I would appreciate it very, very much. So now back to me. <laughs> back to me. So there's a t-shirt line. You can go and you can check it out. Living your best life. Glad you're here. Um, so glad you are here. I hope, hope you are having um, an amazing, wonderful day. All right, guys. So let's get to it. Let's start packing. So I have this, um, this thing I'll show you. Oh, shoot that I found, ooh, am I close to y'all? What? But I found um, this, bring you down. Y'all see this? So I found this and, all right, so it's pretty big um, and long, but I found this and so on the side of the road, cause I'm always finding stuff, right? And we got it all cleaned up. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pack some things in here, all right? And uh, hopefully I can reach it and not be in front of you, so we'll figure it out as we go. But I thought I'd pack this with you because I'm sure hubby's getting tired of seeing this <laughs> in our living room. So, all right, so I'm going to pull this up if I can. Ah! 
y'all. I'm gonna pull my bag up. Okay, here it goes. All right. Okay. Ooh, got that done. Where is hubby? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull this up. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of room in there. I don't know if this will stay up or not. I think hubby had it to stay up the other day. I'm gonna have to call him. But anyway, so. I'm gonna stay up or not? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So there we are. So, <laughs> nothing like action, y'all. So, let me grab this one thing. As much as I plan for this, I promise you, um, this is not quite according to plan. It's okay. All right. So, we're going to. Why? Well, I know it's nice. I found this on the side of the road. It's that micro fiber suede right and it feels so good so the other day i purged with you with you guys so this is just a few things and what happens is i my hubby bought me a sewing machine and i like to take things apart and make different things and so one of the things that i like to make are earrings Okay, so I like to make earrings. You see those? And it's just out of old blue jeans. So I like to make these. And I have a video of how I made these earrings um, if anybody wants to check it out. So I do have a video. All right. So, yeah. So just make those out of old things that I find old material. So what I'm going to do. It's just I want this will be one of the things I'm not taking everything with me. So what I'm going to do is some of the fabric, some of my fabric that I have I only have a little bit of fabric left, but I'm just going to pack those just pack these things with you guys. It's a few of the things that I'm keeping because I want to start really getting together. I think I'm going to wear that, but I think I want to get together some of the things that i want to i know i want to carry to the motherland and i don't want to get rid of so but my one thing in my craft stuff has been all over my house and i didn't really have a system for it because i craft in the living room i craft sometimes in my office like so it was all over the place so i'm trying to just get it organized so i can craft crafty nice yes i like to I like to make stuff. So I this is my blue jean stuff collection, right? So a lot of these blue jeans are blue jeans that I have gotten from Goodwill. And so I'll take these blue jeans like these and I will cut them up and make earrings like these. So and I usually have them on and I, I sell my earrings. Um like a different farmer's markets, a little different craft things. I just had them in a boutique, but the boutique closed recently. Um, and I sold them online as well. So like this. So they can be long or short. They can be long like these. And I do the necklace that goes with them. I do leather, all that. So, okay. And I can add whatever the customer wants. To embellish it so right so that's just some of the fun things that I do around these parts all right so yeah so I had all these blue jeans that I bought like I said at um, you love doing crafting too yeah me too and all these blue jeans I got it like um, garage sales <laughs> hubby seeing my stash hey babe I see you but like I got these at garage sales I got them at all these um there's that thumbnail y'all okay <laughs> but um gotta get that thumbnail like um uh what's her name oh I can't think her name um the one that does all the mukbangs I gotta get that thumbnail in 
like her like she does um, before she, uh, be loves life, yeah, before she gets. But anyway, so I got these yard sales. I've gotten these at um, Goodwill, all these different places. And so I keep them. And then, you know, I take my little scissors and I cut them up. Hubby doesn't, he ain't supposed to be seeing my stash. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Look at hubby. So I see you. Mm -hmm. He don't know about my stash. He don't know what all the stuff I had. But yeah, look at these, y'all. Woo, cute, fancy. Yeah, garage sales, all kind of stuff. Sometimes I get them for like 10 cent. I mean, really, because people want to get rid of stuff, and I just snap them up. I don't know what I would do with these. I've thought about, because I used to do eBay, thought about selling these. If you see your size, let me know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So those will go in there. I think they'll make some cute earrings. They might even make a cute purse with those pockets. I don't know, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see that? They might make a good, a cute little purse. Because I could cut the, um, I've seen those videos where like they cut the, cut them off like right here. And then just sew a hem. And then all I have to do is make the straps to go up. But anyway, I don't know. What y'all think? Hello, my dear. Hey, Petalus Fist, how are you? Speaking of crafting, that is the craft queen. <laughs> Petalus Fist, where are you from? I've always wanted to know because I love your accent. So, yeah, just packing this stuff away. Jacket. This is a jacket. I don't know. I might fit this because it's a 12. So, I might keep this one. It's a 12. But anyway, right now, we're just going to go ahead and pack it. Living your best life. Never show your hubby your stash, <laughs> right? I know, right? Never show your hubby your stash. We're just going to pack that away. Oh. Packing away. Here's another. Oh, that's a cute little skirt, blue jean skirt. I might wear that, too. This is why I can't have no stash, because I go with it. Go through it. Okay, this is Harold's. Harold's of London. Y'all remember that? Nice. So I'm going to put that in there. But I needed to get all my crafting stuff, look, together. Because, because I make these earrings, right? So I make these earrings. So, you know, I use the embellishments to put on them. So from Jamaica. Oh, wow. That's nice. I love your accent. I've always wanted to ask you. And I know, I'm sure you've said it on a broadcast before, but um, I'm glad you came on tonight and I can ask you. So I like to put on my earrings. I like to embellish them. So like, you know, put that together with that. Isn't that pretty? So, yeah. So maybe one night we'll make earrings together. Maybe we'll do that. So all of this is more of my stash of earrings. Look at all this, y'all. Necklaces. <laughs> oh, y'all. Earrings. Let's see my earrings. Y'all see anything y'all like, y'all let me know. Hit me up. Oh, look at these. I don't know if I have two pair of these. I was wondering that because if not, I'm going to have to keep one. Is she sideways? Okay. Y'all see those? Isn't that pretty? Yes. Look at these, y'all. Is that Gucci colors? The green and the red? I want greens. So this is like my little therapy that I do. Creating earrings. My little stash. Right. Gotta have a stash. <laughs> Welcome, Brother Milton says. They look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I love earrings, so I'm always and I'm like I said, I like to use my earrings to embellish the jewelry that I make. So it like, you know, we'll put that right on there and then we'll hang down. You know, like I did that one. So I like to create in my time. Y'all got so many earrings that makes no it just is really makes no sense. Like that. So I'm gonna put these all these earrings um in here. All right, I'm gonna put all my earrings 
put all of these in here, okay? So that'll go on this side, all right? That'll go on this. So then when I'm ready to open it up, I can just open it up and my blue jeans are down here and then my earrings that I want to embellish them with are over here. Oh, Miss Tilly, you're from Caracom too. Wow. There's an artist, Blind Gunner's wife says, that used to make purses from old jeans. You know what? I'll have to look and see how they made the purses from old jeans. One of the things I like to do too, and this is all a part of me, you know, my little extra money to make for me repatriating back to the land, motherland. But I like to um, embellish wallets and purses too. So I have to show y'all that one day so can i reach it let's see maybe not. don't fall all right so this is my kit right it's one of my kits and so it's got beads all kind of beads in it right all kind of beads and stuff so yeah so this is my kit and it's got all my, I don't know if my tools are right here, but I'm going to put this in there and see all of this. When I get ready to ship stuff over to the motherland, I can just, it's all compact and together in here and I don't have to worry about it. Right. I don't have to worry about it. Let's see if I can find my tools. I'm, I'm just right here, y'all. Uh, this is my tool kit, but the tools are in there. Apparently, I've been using them. But y'all know the little tools that you use to make jewelry. That's my kit. It can go in here as well. But I need to find the tools yet first. But, you know, all this is going to go in here in my kit. And then, like I said, I don't have stuff everywhere. My, my thing right now is to get myself organized. If I can purge and if I can get myself organized, I feel like when it's time for me to go to the motherland, I'm not like running all over the place trying to figure everything out. I'm just trying to get things in compact spaces. And I was lucky to find this on the side of the road that I can um, use. This is a pair of blue jeans. They're black blue jeans. I washed everything. So it's, if it's turned inside out, it's just because I washed them. All right. I washed these. So black. I think that'll make a nice pair of blue jeans as well. Um, Tamara says, my great aunt used to make pocketbooks from old detergent bottles and crochet. Wow. That's awesome. So here you are. Here's another pair. And this is actually a new pair. And like I said, I got these. Um, thrifting. I thrift, y'all. I used to thrift. I don't thrift anymore because it's um covid but i used to thrift and what happened was i had a i had a thrift store one of our goodwills went out of business and so i picked up a lot of things and every the the goodwill store if it didn't it was at the um at the discount store they had a goodwill store with discount stuff every everything in the store was um 50 off and then, so when they had the sale and it was getting ready to close, everything was like 75% off. Everything, you know, it kept going down. It kept going down, kept going down, kept going down. So, like, you could get stuff for like a dollar, 50 cent, 25 cent um, as the sale progressed. And so I was able, when that store closed, that's how I really um, filled up my collection. So they're just cute. I like the. I like that. And I wish I could fit them because I would wear them. I'm, I'm trying to lose their size nine. I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm not quite a nine yet. All right. So here's another pair. Y'all might see me in some of these little skirts. So this is cute. This is a 14. Oh, I can wear that. It's cute, y'all. Blue jean. It's cute. So. But I know where it is now, so I'm just going to go ahead and pack it up. Uh, these are mud. 
So I think this army green color would be cute. Add some earrings, but yeah, packing and just purging for now. We purged the other day, so go check that video out. And I'll leave it in the link below too, in the description below. Once this is over, I'll leave it um, as well. See, this is a black blue jean jacket. It's a size 1X. Huh. It might be an oversized jacket. I might be traveling that. Who knows? But anyway, it's cute. But it may be good cut up too in some earrings. <laughs> oh, the problems. Yeah. Decisions, decisions, decisions. What are you guys doing to get yourselves? If you're those of you who are repatriating, or maybe you're downsizing. We downsized a couple of years ago when the kids moved. Um, well, when the kids went to college, we downsized. So tell me, what are you guys doing to get yourself in order? Because I know I can't take all of this with me, but I know, you know, that I need to really think about what's important to me and what I need to get rid of and what I need to, what I can keep and what I really, really need, what's important to me. So that's what I'm doing. Just going through this stuff, trying to see what's important. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I might wear this, y'all. Y'all see me in it. Don't say nothing. If I got it out of my stash. <laughs> Blind guy and his wife said, um, thrifting is important for repatriating because it's not uncommon for U.S. to dump clothes in African countries and repurpose it there. Yes. And for those of you are who are going to Ghana, I have heard that there is a really nice um, mall. I don't know what it's called, but I think it was in one of one of my videos. And he did um, where this lady was taking. Um, she was she was a designer. She was from America, and she actually has a school. And so I don't know if you, anybody saw that video, but she was taking like old materials and she was taking those materials and um, yeah, she was taking those materials and making very high end clothing. They were being sold in stores. They were being sold everywhere um, in store. It was, and he took us to her shop. He did like two interviews with her. It was amazing. Um, Yes, you're right, blind guy and his wife. Yeah, thrifting is important because, you know, that we do. We dump a lot of stuff there. And it's important that we in the West start getting rid of some of our own stuff. <laughs> I agree. Um, are we shipping your our car? Um, I don't know. I'm going to say no at this point, but, you know, that could change. I don't think we're shipping her our car only because... Right now, our car is fairly new. It's less than two years old. I want to say it's two years old. And so we're not even anywhere near done paying for it. And I don't know that we would just to pay for it um, or if we just sell it and then get something newer when we got there. Because if it's my understanding, if you want to ship a car, that you have to have the title. And so, you know, we wouldn't have the title on that on that car because it's fairly new now we have already gotten rid of um a car and a truck already in anticipation of our move so we've gotten rid of some things you know already in anticipation for our move so we're down to the one car now and um and that's just we're going to do that until we get ready to leave that way just not to have any additional expenses but those were already paid for um, so I don't know. Shipping a car is kind of expensive. It depends on the make year and the model. We're doing a little bit of research and listening, you know, to some other people talk about the shipping. And so, yeah, you know, I don't know. What are you guys shipping your cars? Um, Deuce and Gambia. This thing is kind of expensive uh, for me. So we shall see. Um, where are we moving? Someone just texted me and said, where am I moving? Um, I am not sure. Um, and we are still like saving, trying to get everything together. We're researching now and we are researching, to, um, right now we're looking at the Gambia, uh, Ghana and Tanzania. Now, the only thing we, we do, I do kind of feel for me 
that Ghana is a bit expensive. So that's just one thing. Um, it's a bit expensive. So um, that's one thing. Although some of the other areas like Takarati, Tima are a little less expensive. So that's, you know, something to keep that we keep thinking and keep researching. Uh, the Gambia is great, although for us, you know, and everybody has to, you know, know what is best for them. Um, hubby isn't as um, excited about the Gambia as I am. He, we are, I understand we are kind of suburbanites. And so you have to find a country that's right for you. Uh, Tanzania is great, but their elections are going on right now. Uh, I think Malafuli is an excellent president. However, the conservatism of um, Tanzania does worry me a bit because although I dress, I feel like I dress pretty conservative. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I need to visit. And so I just need to kind of go and just make sure that I'll be okay. Um, like I said, I'm really excited about Cape Verde. I like Cape Verde. I like, um, uh, what's the other? Uh, Madagascar and some other places, but they're closed right now, so you can't really see. So we're just pacing ourselves. I want to just, my only thing is to get our family to safety, you know, because I feel very sort of unsafe here. Um, so we're selling a lot of stuff. Uh, most of our furniture we're probably not going to take, especially if we're going to Tanzania, um, because they can make things there. And so I'm, and I'm not going to try to ship like heavy furniture. I'm just not, I'm not going to do that. I think that's, that would be overwhelming for me. So I'm selling a lot of stuff, uh, which will also go towards the repatriation um, process as well. I mean, like our whole living room is basically going to be sold. Everything, the furniture, everything. And so beds, I'm not taking beds. I'm not taking that stuff. Um, so that's going to help fun, you know, the journey as well. Um, but it's hard, you know, 54 countries. And although a few countries, like I said, Tanzania is open, the Gambia is just really fully reopening um, now, um, slowly. And then uh, Ghana is, of course, open. So, but it's hard, you know, it's kind of hard to tell when, because of COVID, that everything's not open. So what I thought I would do is, for me, I know how emotionally I am attached to my stuff. So I thought what I'd do for me is just to try to little by little start to pack in the plan. And so if I do it over time, then I feel like I can get there, right? I feel like I can really get there and be successful because I, I just, I don't know what the U.S. election is going to do. And I'm not, I'm at that point kind of now where I'm over it. I'm just kind of over it. And I want us to be, as a family, to be safe. So I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm tired. We feel, I feel like I'm reaching for my uh, mouse, y'all. But I feel like, um, here's my little mouse. Y'all don't get to see all this when I'm uh, live with y'all. But I used to have my, my little mouse to um, navigate all of the messages here. So, Sphere of Liberty, I want to ship, um, let's see if I get everything. Yeah, I want to ship my car and furniture and appliances over to Africa. I have five small children and getting rid of clothes and other items, or should I sell everything and buy in Africa? I would say it depends on what country you're going to. You know, if you go into Gambia, you might want to ship everything um, because there's not a lot in the Gambia um, there. And people have said repeatedly that like some of the furniture and, you know, some of the other things when they make them there, uh oh, when they make them there, they're not as well made. Um, that's just, you know, from, you know, watching some of the other YouTubers. So I would say, yes, I would say, you know, if you're going to Gambia, you probably need to ship everything. Um, I have friends that are going to Ghana. And I have a friend, a dear friend of mine, um, Exodus Africa. She went to Tanzania and she bought everything. She didn't, she only brought her studio equipment. So you probably don't see, but my lights are, are right here. That's what's shining on me now. So I'll have to, you know, bring like my lights and clothes. But, you know, 
what I want to say really is just research the country you're going to, because that's, you know, knowing where you're going and knowing what's there is going to be important. Um, and that should make your help you make your decision about whether you are should ship your car or ship everything. I cannot think of his name, but the guy, if you're going to Gambia, he owns Moe's um, restaurant in the Gambia. He has a YouTube channel. Um, if you watch the Bag Family, they ate at Moe's restaurant. And so the guy who owns Moe's, I cannot think of his name, but he has a, um, a YouTube channel. And he just did a whole video, which is great, on the things that you need to bring when you come to Africa. It was excellent. And he literally says, bring everything everything, your washer, your dryer, everything, you know, when you come bring everything. So, you know, it just depends, like I said, on which country where you're going. Uh, Deuce in that Gambia says, um, oh, so Spirit Liberty, tell me where you're going. Where are you going? Um, that'd be interesting to know. Uh, Deuce in that Gam uh, Gambia said, uh, go too far. Oh, there it is. Said, yes, we're going to put uh, it in the shipping container, container with everything in the house and the equipment. Okay, cool. That's cool. Um, I think we're going to just buy something small when we get there. We've been looking at where to live because if things are really in walking distance, you know, we'll be walking <laughs> for a while and I'm okay with that. I'm selling everything, says Anja Africa. I'm selling everything, clothes only. She's only keeping clothes. Fees will incur for your newer car in addition to taxes. Poor fees are not worth it. I am consider, uh, considering mailing my amazing mattress to UPS. Rwanda is an option. Okay. Yeah. I um, You're back. Yeah, because I've heard the mattresses aren't that great. Now I've heard mattresses in Tanzania are pretty good. The whole... You know, their bed, because I, I've seen furniture being made in Tanzania. I've been looking at that. Ghana has some great furniture. I've heard good things about Ghana. Um, and I don't know. I'm okay. I think, you know, I, I think because for some countries, sometimes I feel like it's easier to ship to the, through um, from the UK. That's just from what I have researched. And so I was thinking, even my husband and I have talked about this, even if we had to go like to the UK or to, you know, Great Britain for a trip or something to order something or get something that I would just do, you know, do that, get what I need and come back out. But we'll see, you know, we'll see the closer that we get. I think the thing for us is that we are planning so early. We're planning so early. And because we're planning early, we have time, you know, we have time to figure it out. And that's why I say plan and research early. So we could be, you know, potentially a year or two out. Um, although I don't think it'll be that long, but if it is, I'm okay. Um, because right now the main thing has been getting our businesses off the ground in order to live, to leave and getting our finances off the ground. That's been our biggest, um, kind of push right now. And that's why YouTube has been so important. That's why I'm doing the Teespring, the t-shirts, um, all the things I'm doing, right, online, getting online businesses in place so that I do have the finances to go and I have the finances to support myself. So that more than anything, the planning is key. The planning for me is the most important and putting those things in place. Um, yeah, I think the fees for the car can be just a little overwhelming because I looked at some of the fees. But, you know, of course, you put it in the, um, you know, in the shipping container where you already are going to be shipping. Um, but the port fees and you have to, you know, pay the port once you get there. And it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So um, and we're trying to keep our finances as low as we can. So um and hubby doesn't want to take everything, you know, because I look at some of the things we have and people have said, oh, you should wait till you get there because people in um, America, I mean, people in Africa uh, love our family members in Africa, <laughs> love, um, love, love, love American things, American goods. And I think, yeah, good, but I need the money to get, get there. So we're going to sell you know, quite a bit. And like I said, in the beginning, it may be just that we're visiting, that we're just visiting, 
right? And coming back and staying for a while and coming back. I know of another family from here that does that as well. They um, stay like six or seven months out of the year in Africa and then they come back home. So they're there in the um, right in the rainy season there in America. But in the winter season, like they'll start, they'll leave like now, October, November, before it gets really, really cold and they'll spend the whole winter um, in Africa. And then when it begins to get the rainy season, I guess May, June, July, somewhere in there, they will come back home. So that may be what we do uh, for a while, just depending on what's going on. But, you know, it just, you know, I always feel whenever I'm talking about like my planning and people ask me, where are you going? You know, all that stuff. And I always think to to myself, I always think about, um, you know, having any a, a contingency plan, having an emergency plan. Because if this all doesn't work out, you know, if say, for example, um, the elections, you know, say, for example, we get the same nut we already got, we get him back. Okay. Or say, for example, you know, um, you get a new person and then they are, they just, you know, decide to go off the rails and, you know, not be um, kind when it comes to their their policies, when it comes to Black people, African-Americans. Then I want to have an emergency plan so that if I need to leave, we can go, you know? Like, a, you know, I always feel almost like keeping a backpack handy so you can, you know, make sure that you have a way out. And that's the pressure that I kind of feel um, on myself as a mom, as a wife, to get my family to safety. And I hate feeling that way. I hate feeling, but it just in the pit of my stomach, I just feel like um, with everything that's happened with George Floyd, with everything that's happened, right, and you, the lynchings and... People, I mean, really, people are just hanging themselves from trees. I mean, really, that I need to be safe. I need to get myself safe. And for my own mental sanity, I need to get myself where I'm I'm safe and I'm okay. My family's safe. All right. So, um, yeah, and so I'm not taking anything that's heavy. I'm like Angela Frico, you know, in a way. I'm not taking anything I don't have to take, although I do want to take my washing machine. <laughs> Now I've heard what well, I've heard different stories. So I don't know. I've heard that people have brought their washing machines, washing machines and their dryer and they were fine. I've heard other other people who have um, got there in Africa, depending on where they were and the electrical outlets that are different or whatever from um, the voltage, or whatever are different from here in the West. And they have um, blown like sockets and stuff. So I don't know, but Excuse me. My girlfriend who moved to Tanzania, she got her and her baby out of Africa and they actually um, bought um, a washing machine when they got there and she uses the line to dry. So, all right. Spirit of Africa. Yes. Tanzania, Rwanda, Kenya, Ghana, the Gambia. I know that's the list, right? <laughs> that's the big list. That's, those are the, and I love Kenya too. And Kenya was really on the list for me. Um, but I don't know. And so in Uganda too, right? Uganda too. So all, so many good things are happening in Uganda. It's ridiculous with the business in a good way, right? So many good things are happening in Uganda with the businesses that Uganda is definitely exploding. Let's see. Um, I think I will do the same, sell everything. Yeah, I think so. And and I probably would take more, but Hubby does not want me to take more. Is he listening, y'all? See, <laughs> he knows. We already had this talk. Hubby does not want me to take more, so um, he wants to sell everything. He does not want to deal with everything with the ports and the customs. And he feels like too when we go um, to Africa that we should buy African things, you know. And have African things, and um, and they are much cheaper. I was looking at some beautiful, the furniture like this. That's this crushed kind of velvet, you know, kind of microfiber stuff. It's so inexpensive compared to what it is here, where we would be paying three or four thousand, 
people were getting couches made for like three hundred dollars to chairs two hundred dollars like it was so especially in tanzania it was so much less expensive and so yeah but like i said getting our financial plan together is the biggest thing and so that's what we're working on now finally got monetized if you guys want to do a super chat you can't it's right there in the right by your chat it's a little dot funny looking dollar sign so <laughs> you can do that as well all right um and freaky yeah sell everything you right just sell everything get rid of it. <laughs> yeah i would do the same uh-huh you're right yeah i mean it's expensive right what andrew freaka said it's just um it's a, a, a freaka it's um it's expensive all right so deuce and that be said molly yeah molly oh wow molly i should add that it's beautiful molly is beautiful yes molly um tanzania ideally for me thank you for the great feedback i want to uh bring air conditioner washing dryer solar panels etc right <laughs> right i mean man um i i love tanzania but I, for me and I would go to Tanzania tomorrow if I, you know, if I had tickets. Not, you know, not to say that I wouldn't, but I am concerned about, you know, and Tanzania people don't come for me because y'all know I love y'all. You know I love Tanzania, okay? Um, and I love Ghana. I love the Gambia. So don't come for me in the comments. I know how y'all do. Um, but you know, you know, it's the honest thing of, uh oh, boo, they go bay. <laughs> he waved it. But the honest thing is, um, I am very conservative, but at the same time, I don't know that I'm that conservative, you know, as Tanzania. I do like to wear shorts as a woman. I do like to talk to people in the markets. I've kind of, you know, heard some things, you know, um, that men handle the markets, men do all of the uh, talking at the markets and that kind of stuff and i'm not really accustomed to that you know um because i do a lot of shopping we here as women we do shopping right and we shop by ourselves um men aren't really involved in shopping you know they're doing man things so that would be a you know kind of a switch for me um and for our household for a hubby then to have to go shopping with me everywhere i go so and to speak for me at the market right so it's that kind of stuff that I wonder about. Although, you know, you need to adjust and I will adjust. I have, I know I have to adjust, right? I have things, of course, that I have to adjust to. And so it's always a thing of what can you adjust to? What can you live with and what can you live without? Yeah, I think you just need to be wise. This is why you go there and people are unhappy. You go there and people are unhappy. Then they're on YouTube making these videos. They don't like this. They didn't like this. And the people didn't treat them this. And the people didn't do this. And whatever the case may be. So rather than me doing that, <laughs> being sitting here on YouTube, telling you about all my dislikes. Although, you know, I think it's within reason to tell some, you know, five things we like, five things we dislike. I think it's okay within reason. But for me to get on just complain and complain and complain about it, no and so what i need to do is to solve all that is to do my research and make sure i'm going to a country that is best and right for me and that's what i suggest that you do that way you'll get over the disappointment and then to also research and visit there if you visit you can pick up kind of the feel and you can kind of pick up you know the vibe and know what's right for you because we listen to other people but at the end of the day, you have to know what's right for you. You have to pick something that's right for you. And that's just the truth. Um, generation and generators and business equipment. Yes. Generators and business equipment. We were looking at generators a couple of weeks ago. Um, and the guy from Gambia Mo's, he talked about getting the electrical generators. I think that's important too, because he was talking about if they go off in the middle of the night and your air conditioner goes off. You do not, <laughs> you do not want when your wife, when he was saying from a man's perspective, when a, your wife looks over you and it's like, hey, baby, turn, go turn the air turned off. You don't want to have to have to get up in the middle of the night and go put gas in and do all that. You just want to be able to hit that switch and pop it back on. Yeah. So let's see. 
Let's see. Oh, so generators and business equipment. Yes, Spirit of Liberty. Exactly. Spirit of Liberty says, yes, I'm going to Sierra Leone. 100% uh, Mende in Tanzania to decide. Yeah, Sierra Leone is beautiful. Um, one of the things I have, a my sister's aunt lives, um, I think it's her aunt or one of her cousins lives in Tanzania. And um, I'm sorry, Tanzania, Sierra Leone. And so we did look at Sierra Leone and we did look at Rwanda, Rwanda as well. And it was a bit hilly for us um, because we're flatlanders. And so that's just, when I talk about it, I'm not, you know, there's no negativity because I love all 54 countries. So hear me, hear my heart. It's just that, you you know, you can't live in all 54. You can visit all 54. <laughs> but I don't know if I want a house in all 54. So I have to find a way to kind of strike things, unfortunately, off my list. So I can get to the one country where we're going to live. Or maybe two countries. We'll have a house here and a house there. Wouldn't that be great? We'll hit the lotto. Let's see. Um, and Jafrika. Nice. I was thinking about Sierra Leone too. But I hear that none of the citizens can own their own land, homes. It is absolutely gorgeous there. Yes. Sierra Leone. I didn't know you can own land, your own um, land in Sierra Leone. Uh, Tanzania is the same way. You can't own... Um, land in tanzania either you have to rent it but you know there is a lot of things that are changing um with the election so that's why one of the reasons i was saying you know i wanted to wait on the elections but also as more of us come things will change i believe um and we have to have an immigrant's mentality um exodus africa talks about that all the time having an immigrant's mentality having a mentality to know um because people, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you really, do you really own anything in America? I mean, your name's on it, but if you miss a payment, do you really own it? You know, if you don't pay your taxes or say you, you're, you're living and you're just fine. And then the next generation misses a, the taxes or you don't have a will. I mean, like, what happens to it? Right. And then definitely in the UK um, in Britain, it's all the queen's land. Right. So it's all owned by the queen. So about the crown right so i don't know i don't know that i feel so bad about those things about not being able to own land in tanzania or sierra leone um the good thing about sierra leone is that you can't get citizenship you guys are 100 percent mende so if you can um you know you can get automatic you know you can get citizenship with your um ancestry dna so that's a good thing. And right now, I don't know, there are rules. I got to look up more because I, you know, with Tanzania to find out more about the rules for residency and all of that. So um, there may be different workarounds even to those things. Um, Deuce and that can be. That's why we got kids' passports now, even though we're not leaving permanently for a couple of years. Yeah, planning. I mean, we may not. Um, I had hoped that we were going to leave this year to visit, but that's probably not going to happen. So, um, but, you know, we don't know. I always keep that hope up. Keep hope alive. But um, it'll probably be next year. So 2021 before we at least visit. And so, you know, it is what it is. You you got to plan. You got to have a contingency plan, right? And an emergency plan just in case you need to get out. Um and it's the earlier you start planning, the better off you're going to feel. I just need to get the house in order. Um, because right now, you know how you live in your house? So like you got, um, you know, you got stuff here. You got dishes there. You got, I want to get things more kind of centered and more together. So when I do get ready um, to really pack and I get ready to go, Things are more compact and I've gotten rid of a lot of the extras and the fluff. So um, when I get ready to go, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, you know, that planning, I love that, getting your passports now. And we definitely are doing that as well. Spirit of Liberty, that's how I feel, Sanal. I have three sons. Yeah, getting my babies out. I mean, getting myself out, getting my husband out. I'm just tired. I'm just worn out. I really am. I, I was almost worn out to the point where I was like, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't even fit in the boat. I ain't, I ain't even staying y'all. But I am going to vote. Uh, hubby already voted. 
So I am going to vote because um, I, you know, I want to make sure everybody's taken care of. I want to make sure everybody's, you know, safe, even if I'm not here. But at the, but I was just to that tired. I'm not, and I'm okay with saying that because I think we need to voice how we feel. But I am going to vote. So y'all go vote. Okay, go vote. <laughs> go vote. Please vote. But um, neither one of the parties was looking too promising. You know, both of them have. <sighs> anyway, y'all go vote. That's all I want to say. <laughs> both of them got issues, right? So, yeah. Um, Felix Thompson says you will be fine. I'll be fine in Tanzania. If you if you're saying Felix, I'm gonna be fine in Tanzania. Please let me know. <laughs> um, Spirit Liberty. Yes, Uganda too, but they're a landlocked country. Yes, they are landlocked, but they do have a lot of rivers and lakes. So that's good. So that's the good. I mean, you know, if I ended up in Uganda, I would be happy, 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 happy camper. Um, in fact, somebody tried to give us a free house in Uganda uh, to stay for a while to come visit. So not forever. If they gave it to us forever, we might have to go. But <laughs> interesting. Um, Spirit of Liberty, um, they offer citizenship to U.S. citizens that have traced their ancestry, talking about Sierra Leone, I'm going to inquire. I don't plan to buy the first year, six months. Uh, yeah, six months there and six months in Tanzania. I'm with you on that. I don't plan to buy either uh, when I first go. You know, so, yeah, there's that. But like now, I mean, you know, now our biggest thing, are you guys working on your financial plan? Because I feel like that's the biggest thing. There are no jobs, and you know, there are some, but there aren't. A plethora of jobs in Africa, and really, they're not a plethora of jobs in the West. So, we're trying to get our online businesses off really up. You know, the YouTube channel is starting to get there, so trying to get those businesses up and going that's really what we're doing. Anybody else working on your got your packing plan? Are you working on your financial plan and your business plans? Um, for the spirit of liberty, or Angel Frigga that talked about sending over their business, um. Um, their business stuff. So if you're sending over your business tools, your business um, equipment, please let me know what kind of equipment you're doing. And if you can, what kind of business you are going to be going into. I would love to know. All right. Um, let's see. Yes, hit that like button, family. I would appreciate it so much. Hit that like button, family. Please, thank you so much Deuce and Nick Gimby. Yes, hit that like button. That would help me so, so much. Let's see. Offer citizenship. Yeah, I heard you can do the citizenship online, so that would be interesting. Um, Molly was the English YouTuber that you were talking. Yes, Molly! Oh, thank y'all. <laughs> you know, I'll be forgetting. Yes, Molly. Yes, I, he... Out of all the YouTubers, he's probably my favorite. Um, and because he just, in terms of the information he provides, because it's so um, detailed. And Angel Freaka, were you the one that talked about um, moving everything over? I don't know. But um, so detailed. So detailed. I love it. Yes. Uh, do something. Hit that like button. Yes. Hit that. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please, please, please. Um, Erica Wilson. Hello, Sano. Hey, Erica. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Good to see you. Um, Petalus Bliss says, nice being on your live, but I'm going to bed now. <laughs> it's 12 midnight over here in Canada, and I'm going to go to bed. So good night and take care, my dear. You take care, okay? I love you so much, and I appreciate you, Petalus, for your support. It really means a lot. Thank you. Um, Spirit of Liberty. I'm currently pregnant. Woo! Congratulations, sweetie. And planning to give birth there in Africa to make it easier uh, to gain residency faster and build a house in my children's name. I didn't know that. I didn't know uh, having a baby there that you could, um, that helps with residency. Interesting. All right, y'all hearing all these secrets. <laughs> what country, by the way? Uh, Erica Wilson, plan, plan, plan. I won't be visiting until 2021. Also, I'm aiming for April. Wow, that sounds good. April sounds like a good month to me. Uh, <laughs> Deuce and that gimme says, 
I don't want to vote either for either one, but I'm still going to vote. Look, you reading my language. <laughs> ooh, ooh. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, y'all. I'm going to vote, though. Y'all vote. All right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Spirit, blessings, queen, to you and your family. Yes, 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 yes. I'm saying congratulations on the baby. Woo, congratulations. I just, you know, <sighs> new family, new beginnings, new babies. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful time. And to have your baby in Africa, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, y'all, let's keep packing. All right, so blue jean jacket going in. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is cute. What is it? It is kick it jeans. I don't know. I've never heard of that one. Kick it jeans. So, but yeah, I um like I said, I cut a lot of this stuff up to make earrings and stuff. But I have it, and I found this on the side of the road. So that was cool too. Finding this on the side of the road. Oh, this is in here. If I can get it out, let's see. This was in here because I'm gonna wear this this winter, actually. Y'all see that? And because I'm gonna be here. But I had some things I thought about. This is Venus. Y'all remember Venus? Venus. Anyway, um, I'm gonna wear this this winter since I'm gonna be here. Um, although some areas like in the mountains in Kenya are very cold, but I don't know if I cut this up. I don't know if I can make earrings. I don't know. It's kind of heavy. So I don't know, but I want to keep this out because I am going to make, I'm going to wear this this winter. So let me put that over there. Right. We're almost to the bottom of the bag, y'all. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. <laughs> Another blue jean jacket. This one is from the Gap. It's a medium. Yeah. All this thrifting stuff, like I said, I cut it up. Make earrings. That's what I do. Oh, these. Oh, these are my pants that I have been looking for. I must have washed these in with um, some of my clothes. <laughs> oh no it's not this is thrifted okay this is thrifted but anyway i think i bought these for myself to wear when they had that 50 cent sale I always i haven't been anybody i haven't anybody been thrifting since covid i haven't been thrifting since before covid so what February, January, March of last of this year. Yeah, I haven't been. All right, this is at the bottom of the bag. This is gonna go in the sale or garage sale pile because I'm not taking that with me. So I'm putting it over there. And oh, this jacket. I can wear this winter. Isn't that pretty? Look at that in the inside. Coordinate y'all. Look at that. Pretty. Nice. I thought I had a pair of blue corduroys to go with it. But anyway, I will wear this this winter. I'm going to get my last winter's wear out of all my winter clothes since I can't take them. <laughs> can't take them to Africa. And we're at the bottom of the bag. Got some blue jeans. There, a skirt. Look at that. You might make a nice purse too. Just a little dingus on the back. Sparkling. Yes. So that's that. What else is left in here? Uh oh. You're going to cut y'all off trying to reach for this thing. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're at the end of the bag. We come to the end. Of the road, can't let go. That's cute, isn't that cute? That might work in Africa. 
It's thin, see through. The lace through. It might work. I don't know. So this is an extra large. Let me see. Yeah. So let me put this over here on that pile. But anyway, so we're all packed up, right? So I got what do I have? I have my blue jeans here. I have my earrings in this one. Right? So all my earrings. Look at those. Afro. I see that. My earrings are right there. And then my toolkit is black, so you probably can't see it, is right there. And we got to the bottom of the bag together. <laughs> we did it, y'all. Hubby's gonna be so happy that I got this out of oh, out of my um living room. Well, I might put it back there. Let's see. But it'll be more organized. Look at this, y'all. So that's a shirt that I can cut up and make earrings out of. Isn't that pretty? It's too small for me. But I thought that would be pretty. But also, I want to use my sewing sewing machine to learn how to sew. And I want to... Um, you know how you see some African clothing and they have like a different... Oh, I'm trying to find the pocket. It's on this side. They have like a different pocket. Right, they have like um, African fabric on the pocket, or some parts of it may be different. So it's like I want to take, try to take some of those styles and try to mix it up because it's like we've gotten so accustomed to American styles, and to me, when I look at them now, the anybody else, anybody else, okay, y'all be honest with me now. Anybody else, when you look at the African, when you look at the um, American style of clothing, do you now, after you've looked at so many African styles of clothing and like their jewelry and their shoes and different things, you look at American clothing kind of differently now and, be, and you're like, hmm, that's nice. When you look at African, you're like, I like that. I was looking uh, today at, um, some African fashion shows. And I was like, man, blown away, blown away at the music and the dancing that they do. <laughs> and so tell me, tell me, tell me, y'all. When you look at American clothes now, after you've looked at so many African clothes, do you all look at American clothes now and think that's kind of plain? I do. Anybody else, comment below if it's just me. Just uh, if you, It may just be me. I don't know. But now, now I look at some African clothes and I think, I mean, American clothes, I'm sorry. When I look at American clothes now after looking at African clothes, I'm thinking, that's so plain. I mean, just so plain. <laughs> you know, they always do the cute things. They'll have, you know, the um, African fabrics. Can they cloth going across like down the shoulder? You know, they redo the pockets. They have African cloth. I mean, the men's shirts are so nice. You know, when I see it and they're longer, my hubby likes longer kind of shirts and they're longer. They just kind of fit you and they fit your body style and your body type. Yeah, I feel like over here I have to get like sometimes, depending on style, like things much bigger than what I really am because just to fit certain curves and places. Y'all ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. So just tell me. Um, so this is a little dress, but I wanted to cut it up and use it for, to embellish. Like, wouldn't this look nice on a, like, this little black and white? Wouldn't that be great on, like, a pocket or something? I think it would be great. Anyway, that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. So we're going to, that's my lie I tell myself, so we're going to go ahead and put it in here. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see now. Where were we? Oh, Molly is the English YouTuber. Yes. Excuse me. Molly is the English YouTuber. Yeah, I really like him. Um, I do. He, he shares some deep, detailed information. Uh, hit that like button. Yes. Thank you so much, Deuce and that Gambia. Definitely hit that like button. I would appreciate it so, so much. If you would do that, just hit that like button for me. It just lets um, YouTube know to keep circulating this content. And so I appreciate that so much. Yes. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Um, 
And then, let's see. Tell us Oh, she's going to bed now. We got that one. Um, yes, I'm currently pregnant. We got that one. Got a plan. Don't want to vote. We got that one. Um, blessings to you, queen, your family. Okay, we got that one. You look Ghanaian and Nigerian. <laughs> Felix Thompson, uh, have you done your ancestral DNA test yet? I think you should visit about three countries at a time in a region. Oh, that's good. To, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Start from, uh, say, West Africa. You know what? That's a good idea. And I, I do always say that I'm Nigerian for sure. I'm Nigerian for sure. No, I don't know. I haven't taken my um, ancestral DNA yet. Um, I just had um, Tamara on and Tamara did her ancestry DNA reveal. So I haven't done mine yet, but I want to. I want to. I definitely, hubby and I definitely want to so we can know where we're from. But thank you for that. You said I look um, <laughs> Ghanaian and Nigerian. I think I act Nigerian for sure, but um, at times. So <laughs> blessings, Queen Angelica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Queen Sanal. Yes, blessings to you and your families as well. Thank you. Yes, new babies, new life. Exciting. I, um, blind guy, his wife in their life, I sort of, uh, food thrift with rebate apps. No clothes thrifting. I just wash what I have. <laughs> you are always dressed so beautifully. Um, are you always you're always dressed so just chic and so well put together. I love it. Um, and so yes, I need to really. I don't do well with the food with the apps with um, discount shopping. I do better. I want to though. I always download the apps. I always click the coupons. And I just never. What I just figured out to do. We have a store that we go to now that's about thirty minutes away from us, but it's in the county. Um, it's in another state actually. It's in Mississippi, but Mississippi's really close to us. And I just we get all our food from there because it's fresh foods. It's really really cheap. And so I just figured out to do that because I I wish I had I wish I had those skills. The rebate apps, I just don't, for some reason, I don't have the skills to be able to do that. Bless you, queen. I'm telling you, because that that's a skill. That's some queen stuff right there. <laughs> I wish I could do it, do better, but maybe I have to uh maybe I have to take a class from you or something so I can learn. Um, Felix majority. Um, Felix, I mean Frank says, Hey Frank, hey Karima, how are you? Um uh, to Felix, it says majority of African Americans are um, have roots from the, from West Africa. Absolutely, the majority of us do have roots from West Africa. That's absolutely the truth. It's just, it just is what it is. The more majority of us, uh, because of the um, slave trade, have that um, have those roots from the West. I I'm kind of I love West Africa and I love East Africa, so you know. It is what it is, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out. If I can bring them apart. If I can get these apart, let's see. If I can. These are my daughters, by the way. She's no longer using them. But she um, used these at school. So I'm just going to... I don't know what that is in there. All right, so I'm just going to put this one in here. So the pink's in there, okay? They're sitting kind of low. And I have all of these. How many of you all, anybody besides me, any, does anybody else besides me go to Hobby Lobby, is it Hobby Lobby, and pull all the um, different, y'all be truthful and be honest. Anybody else pull all of the different, um, pamphlets they have on how to make stuff i go through and leave out with a whole bag of stuff and so they have these pamphlets on how to design how to create jewelry how to paint stuff like this one is on jewelry right so i have all these collected here right um uh -oh. i have all of these there they are 
I have all of these this inspirational things collected here. And so what I'm going to do is put these in one of these. Put it in a yellow one, I guess. So I'll have it. Look at that. See how nice that fit is? I'm telling you, this thing is I'm so glad. When I saw it on the side of the road, Hubby was like, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I was like, yes, you are. And he's like, ugh. Oh. But anyway, he stopped. He was just messing with me. So he he stopped and um we put this in the back of the car. And because people here, that's the one thing I will miss. Um, because I don't know if they do it in Africa, but people here leave a lot of stuff on the side of the road. And so we have gotten a lot of furniture, really nice things like this. And all I did was take a dip cloth and sprayed it down. And I had soap on the cloth and I just wiped it down really, really good and cleaned it. And we are good. Good to go. Um, Deuce Nick Gambia says, I used to coupon in massive amounts when I was in Detroit. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. I wish I could coupon, coupon better. That's just a skill I have tried. I had the binder. I had the little... Um, little coupon um thing to take with me the little the little pouch to take with me when i go to the store and i i just didn't <laughs> do it but i admire people like you and like blind guy and his wife i admire y'all so much for being able to do it i wish i could do it hey jackie c how are you jackie it's so good to see you um let's see I used to now watch YouTube. You used to watch TV, now you watch YouTube. Ah, yeah, me too. I watch a ton of YouTube. I really watch YouTube more than anything. I don't think I've watched regular TV. Uh, Hubby watches some news. He watches news much more than I do. And um, still reads like the newspaper online. Now I do read art, um, news articles online, but I don't. I read more news articles than I do watching the news. I watch YouTube. It's better. <laughs> um, uh, Blind Guy's Wife, I never get those pamphlets anymore. Figuring I'll just YouTube it. Oh, you were saying I used to, you used to get the pamphlets. No, you just, you, you just YouTube it. Yeah, I like paper. So glass. Oh, that's what you were saying. Yeah, I'll be forgetting why I said y'all. Yeah, I like this one. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all see those bottles? Look at that. See, with all that jewelry I collect, I feel like, you know, because I, um, all that jewelry I collect, I feel like, um, you could do so many things with it to embellish different things. So that's one reason I collect all that jewelry. And then once I go, which I really want to go to Tanzania, but look, oh, there it is. So y'all see this? See that seashell on the top of there? See how pretty that is? Yeah. See how pretty that is? I just feel like once I go, if I go to Tanzania, then I have so many things I can do with seashells, right? And there's just abundance of seashells just walking on the beach. And so I feel like, man, I just, there's just so many things that I can do. And so that's why I like getting these. I just like the inspiration. And I like, um, Collecting like old bottles. So like here. You know, I showed y'all those. And so like I said, with the jewelry and stuff that I collect. Just look in here and find something. I don't know. Maybe these balls would go on top of a glass jar or something to embellish it. If I colored it, you know, and it had the bottle top on it. I have a whole set of these if I take these apart. So I don't know. I'm always just um, on the you know front of the bottle like this, right? Y'all see that? I could just put my Africa on there on the front of my bottle. I just I don't know. I like to play around with things. And what happened was with the earrings, this store was going. Um, we had well, two stores. One was going out of business. 
and they had earrings for ten for a dollar and then they had some earrings that were five cents excuse me so hubby and i racked up so we got a bunch of earrings and then some of these were just a dollar the african ones might have been a dollar so i ended up really racking up and then we went to another store because i had to go home to mississippi i had to go home um january of last year you had to go home and put the um was it january whenever it was last year and i put the um gravestone on my mother's grave and on our way back we stopped and we got something to eat and we went in the store and i don't know i think it may have been these this everything was like 65 cents and then she gave me a discount um for like every four dollars that i spent it was something like that she gave me another 10 or 20 percent off for every like uh four dollars or five dollars like four or five dollars that i spent so so they were 65 cents and then another 15 20 percent off which was awesome i love deals like that I usually, you know, hubby talks me talks into deals, and so do I. <laughs> I love bartering. So, said so I never get those pamphlets anymore. Figuring I'll just YouTube it. I know it's paper. I love paper. I, I I love paper. Hello, host. Hey, sunshine. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. Good afternoon from the Philippines. Good to see you. So glad you are able to join us. Um, yes, Angel Frica says, I will make my final, final move 6 2021. I have online stores. That's awesome. I'll have to purchase uh, a printer there, but looking um, to open a business there and get some items mass produced to sell internationally. Yes. And that's, you know, I'm glad you shared that because that's the, you know, that's really the main thing. If you can figure out, how to get your businesses, our businesses, all of us, you know, figure out how to get our businesses in place and um, figuring out how to put everything, you know, either online or put everything in a digital space, and, you know, as we start in the beginning and then we can slowly work ourselves and work our way up to you know if we'd like to you know having a business that's a physical location so i'm just it's just exciting um this is you know this is just an exciting time if you look you know if you look around at all of the different people who are moving or who are traveling i mean just even traveling thinking about traveling to africa is exciting and amazing and so i'm i'm happy i'm happy to be in this space i'm happy to be um, a pioneer and happy to be planning. I know that it's for us, it's probably going to take some time and well, I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with the journey. Um, and so trying to figure out what to do while we wait and how to get, it just gives me the time. I think I need to get myself in order because I don't want to go over there without a plan. I don't want to go without a plan and I don't want to go and have to come back. I've seen so many families go over and then have to come back and can't stay. You know, I admire them as well. Um, for example, you know, the native born family, when they went over, they left and they, you know, came, the wife came back and, you know, all of that, which was part of their beautiful journey and beauty, beautiful experience. That was one of the first YouTubers I started watching. I think everybody, all of us, right? When native born were telling their story, it was amazing and um to hear and to see this whole family move to africa i loved it love it love it love it so yeah just giving us the time we need to plan and to get a financial plan in order to do what we need to do so if you anja africa says uh anja africa says if you take your car you should pack things inside of it yes absolutely if you and that's one reason like i want this i don't i didn't want to leave this i actually want to take this with us um because i think it's just you know let me lower it down 
I think it's just I don't have to put the things down. But I don't know if I can now. But anyway, when you lower it down, it's really beautiful. <laughs> I have to put a picture up. But it's really beautiful. And I was like, I want to take this with this. And so I didn't. I was like, well, you know, if we're going to take it, I probably need to pack it. Uh, because I don't want to have, I don't want to just take this thing and it just creates space. So that's the same, you know, like you're saying with the car, you want to go ahead and pack it tight, right? Have everything filled in the trunk, have stuff on the back seat, stuff in the floor, have stuff on the front car seat, the side car seat, all in the middle. You want to have all that stuff everywhere because the last thing you want to do is get over there and have you know wasted all this money that you spent to ship that stuff over there and then your stuff is empty so like we're packing every, you know we're packing every container of everything big or small including the car um you know if we take one that we want to take with us so that's just a good idea that's just good that's a good suggestion um you do know that there is surplus clothing in africa you be you should be selling or donating to do to decrease your footprint sis. Yeah. Now I think you if you've seen um my video where I actually did the purging because I'm on I'm pur you saw me purge a few things when we were sitting here, but I actually just purged down to this small bit. And the rest of it I'm gonna sell or give away. So you have to go check out that other video. There's another video. It's with me sitting on top of this with this that huge big garbage bag. And I'm saying hubby said give it all away. And so you go check out that video and I'll link it below. You can check back tomorrow after you guys get some sleep. But um, yeah, I'm donating a lot and getting rid of a lot. But I am going to take some things um that i'm not gonna have to buy and things that i have thrifted here in america that mean to mean something to me right so um these things mean something to me i went out i thrifted them and i want to make t-shirts out of them and i have a little while before i go like i'm not leaving tomorrow so um who knows i, I might have by the time it's time for us to go i might have already made all the earrings out of these things um anyway so but i just wanted to kind of share with you what I'm doing and kind of my process of what I'm thinking because I know they have a lot of clothes, you know, over there. Um things that I could buy, rebuy. But there are some things, you know, you do have an attachment and I am going to take some clothes, but there are some things that I am going to we are going to ship and we are going to take. And this is going to be one of them. So why not fill it? I'm mean, I was thinking, you know, I might as well go ahead and fill it and have some things in there. Um, military pack, no space, not right. Military pack, and my husband is not. A, um, he was not in the military, but he used to work for FedEx, and so years ago, and so he is. He believes in look, pack it, pack it tight, pack it tight, and so that is what I'm doing, and I am definitely lessening my footprint because. I already thrift a lot, and so I reuse a lot, I wash a lot, I thrift a lot, and so I don't think I think I'm okay with <laughs> just these few things. I'm gonna think of it. Oh, there you yeah. go. I don't think I'm okay with just these that little pile. Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> but that's great advice. Great advice. Um, have you guys been seeing? Uh, I asked the question, so tell me what you think. When you guys see what's going on with um you know when you look at like fashion shows or you look at different things do you um or african fashion shows or african clothing you look back at american clothing and think um wow it's kind of plain do you <laughs> nobody answered me so let me know if y'all think that um and how many of you also have been watching sars have you all been watching what's going on in africa with SARS. Um, I was thinking in SARS now. Have you anybody uh, been watching that? It's really an interesting situation with what's going on, right? Um, it's very interesting what's going on with SARS in um, Nigeria 
and to see the young people out there fighting, you know, for their rights and um, protesting is amazing, right? It's amazing. So I'm just proud of them. And it's sad to see that, you know, there is that level of police brutality that's going on around the world. I mean, you know, I'm just thinking, when will this end, right? When will this end? The, you know, military rule, police brutality, when will this end? Um, but I'm proud. I'm very proud of the young people who are fighting as a part of SARS, standing up for their rights, standing up, you know, to the powers that be and letting them know that enough is enough. I, when, I, when I watched some of it today, and I, it just amazes me, you know, when I look at um, the young women who are protesting, who, who are part of that, and voicing, allowing their voices to be heard. It's just really amazing, really exciting time. And hopefully they will be heard. I've been watching and seeing that some concessions are being made and that um, some of the dignitaries are coming out and really um, trying to talk to uh, you know, groups of the protesters to try to make a change. So I hope it works. I hope it does. Uh, which country are you going to? Um, how are you doing? We haven't decided yet. So we're packing and planning <laughs> first um, and still researching. So we haven't decided yet. We narrowed it down, we think, to Ghana, the Gambia, and um, Tanzania. So we kind of narrowed it down. But, you know, one of the problems with making the decision is that some countries like Madagascar and um, Cape Verde, some of these, you know, some countries are still not open. And so, you know, wow, we wish they were open so that we could go, we could travel, we could learn and um, visit. And, you know, that's just not possible right now because of COVID, you know, some of the borders are still closed. And so, yeah, we are just um, really excited, you know, really just excited about um, the opportunity to go. And so this just right now, while the borders are closed, while COVID is going on, because we, like I said, we could choose a whole new country out of, you know, besides the three, you know, we could add um, Uganda. It's just, 54 beautiful countries. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, you know, um, the suits, you were talking about the suits, the, their suits are dope. Aren't their suits dope? I mean, really. Man, when I look at the clothes and clothing for the men, I look at the suits for the men. Like, wow, I look at the dresses, especially Nigeria. I look at the dresses. Wow. I'm, and the fashions get into it, right? I just love it. I love the silhouettes of how they, um, you know, fit our curves, fit, you know, our bodies, how they, you know, work with the men's fashions. And I can't wait to get my hubby, you know, some of those shirts and suits. And I'm just, I am excited. And like I said, sometimes I look at American clothing, and I'm like, wow, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, to buy authentic African clothing. Now, I know you can have a lot of stuff shipped here, all of that, but I want to feel it and I want to pick it. I want to choose it. I'm just, I'm excited. Blind Guy says, I was a Tetris champ back in the day. <laughs> then had a minivan with a um, double stroller plus work gear. I can pack what? Oh my gosh, Tetris. Oh my gosh, that brings back memories. Um, and then you have the minivan <laughs> with the double stroller. I had the Cadillac too, honey. Baby, I had the Cadillac stroller. <laughs> so I had that stroller. Man, you had to really pack that stroller down to get it to fit in the car. Or, you know, in the car. I had to fit, put mine in the car. I'm trying to think, did we have the Jeep then? We might have had a Jeep then. But I had to pack that thing. I had a little red BMW. I used to have to pack my double um Cadillac stroller in there for my two babies. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love the clothing. I do. I do. I do. Um, so now don't put nothing valuable in the cars though. 
because sometimes customs and vandals can steal stuff from the cars prior to clearance. That's good to know. Thanks, Owen. That's good to know. Wow, that is good to know because I'm trying to, I need to be, I'm sitting here looking for my notepad. I need to be writing down all these tips, but I'm definitely going to come back and get that tip because that's good to know. I've been getting some good tips, packing stuff, how to pack stuff, how to pack stuff in cars. Yeah. And I am trying to lessen my footprint because we're not taking, I say we're not taking a whole lot, but you know, we shall see. But uh, hubby doesn't want to take a lot for sure. Um, They got people from the U.S. building in Gambia and other places. Yep, they do. They do. They have... There's a lot of building and a lot of opportunity that's happening over in the Gambia and Tanzania. People are landing like every day in Tanzania because the borders are open and there's a lot less with the COVID testing. So that's good. And then there's um, what, I mean, you know, it's just easy, right? Easy to get into. So that's really, really good. So I'm excited. I'm excited excited about there's so much building going on so many good things going on um for the gambia all the way to ghana i mean people are landing in the ghana and doing so many amazing things yeah um i want to kind of suit lol right <laughs> i do too i do too right absolutely um yes all right you got all those uh, symbols. I like that. Well, give me a thumbs up while y'all are sitting here. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I don't support stores that support the current resident of the <laughs> I'd be live chick like, you know what? I haven't been to I was why I said how many of y'all used to get. I think I said it that way, right? How many of y'all used to get? Because <laughs> I haven't been there in a while. I don't I haven't been there to um Hobby Lobby in a while. Um the last time I went in, someone had put um, a kind of ugly message in um, about, anyway, we won't go there. But somebody had put kind of an ugly message um, with all the letters um, in support of the current resident. And I thought, mm -mm, that's it for me. And then, of course, when they said all the stuff about him, um, them supporting him you know i kind of don't go anymore so these are part of my collection that i've had for a while and i really um i really haven't been out a lot anyway since uh COVID. i haven't been out what and i don't go out a lot um because of COVID, because i have um an autoimmune disease so i i have that I have um, rheumatoid arthritis, so that's that. So I try not to go. And then I have asthma, so the mask can be a little overwhelming for me when I breathe. So I really, I haven't been thrifting. Um, I haven't been shopping a lot. Unless it's, I have to go out for groceries, then I go. But other than that, I'm not, I don't want to, and I'm saving my money. So that's the other thing. I'm saving my money to go back to the motherland so i haven't been shopping so the things you see are things that i've had um for a while and i just um need to put it up i need to just get it in a place together instead of it being in one closet here and one something in one closet there and one closet another closet but i feel you on the resident man uh i mean sis i feel you on the resident sis i feel you on that because that's a lot yeah i feel you on the resident um something else i was gonna say SARS. Did, did y'all tell me what y'all thought about SARS? You know, because that's that's uh that's going on in Nigeria. Let's see. Everybody do a chat thumbs up. Yes, give a thumbs up. Thank you. Yes, there you go. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. They got rid of one of the stores in my area that donated to 45. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we can go on and he won't be back, but you know, even if he's back, I don't know. I don't know what the state of the U.S. shall be, and I'm, I'm I just don't know. I don't have faith in it right now. I just don't have faith in it right now. A friend of mine is dealing with that. Oh, with um, with um, rheumatoid arthritis or asthma or something. 
It's it's interesting. I I know for me with rheumatoid arthritis, um, it affects everything. Like allergies, it affects everything. So I do have to eat a plant, lots of plant based foods, and I have to exercise. That's the other thing. Plant based food, a plant plant based lifestyle says blind guy his wife in their life reverses minimizes rheumatoid arthritis and asthma. Yes. And I agree because I am um, not perfect at it by any means, but I notice that it's more difficult for me to digest meat. So um, I do eat meat. You're going to see me cooking meat, but I do eat meat, but not a lot. And having more of a plant-based diet, I just feel better. It, I just can digest it better, right? I can feel, I just feel better. I can digest it better process it better and it helps to get the inflammation out so you know helps the the inflammation and that's one of the biggest things with um both rheumatoid arthritis and with asthma is the inflammation and so you know that and living in the west is so because i i noticed that my rheumatoid arthritis and asthma acts up a lot when I'm stressed and it's been very, you know, even though, you know, it may not be happening your, your family, all, you know, our family specifically, the violence that's going on, it may not have touched us that way, but you know, just the stress of being in the West, um, the racism, like it just gets to be to a boiling point where you're just like, Oh my gosh, enough y'all. Aren't y'all tired? I'm just thinking, aren't people tired by now? You know, and it's enough. The SARS thing. Yeah, the SARS thing. Um, a friend of yours is dealing with it. The SARS. Oh, I see. In Nigeria. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I I feel for Nigeria that that's happening, you know, and so much is happening with the Yahoo boys. And um, I know they want to crack down on all of the things, you know, because there have been so many real, you know, so many arrests that have happened with the Yahoo boys and getting rid of the, um, Froysters and all this is happening, but you know, I don't think I just think you have to put things into perspective and we can't just hurt everybody because, um, you know, I just you have to put things in order. I mean, this whole thing with um, military, I mean, 40, and you know, I won't call this number, but the guy here did that. You saw the secret military come out when, um, the protesters in Washington, right? And they moved them away from the church. Like, what is that? Like, is this really what we're doing now? And why? I mean, why? Why though? I mean, why would someone want to be in that much, have that much power and that much control over some other people's lives, like to be a dictator? Who, why would you even want that? I mean, I, I just don't think that that's something to even aspire to be. It was just enough to be the president, right? It's just enough to be the leader of the free world. But now you want to add dictatorship and you want to add um, all these other things that you're doing. It's just crazy and wrong and wrong. And you know? I'm tired. I'm tired. Snob, once you get to Africa and get some of that motherland breeze, the asthma and ailments will be gone. I hope so. I do hope so. And I believe it too, because I've heard people, um, Owen, I've heard people talk about how just the amount of sunlight, you know, that they have the vitamin D and how that helps to heal the asthma and helps to heal, you know, the rheumatoid arthritis. And then, you know, plus the food, I mean, blind guy and his wife talked about you know, plant-based lifestyle, plus the food, you know, just having those healthy foods, having foods that are just milked in vitamin D, just drenched in vitamin D, healthy and no GMOs. Oh gosh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. And that's one reason I'm moving, you know, the stress and um, being able to Get to the motherland and live just a stress-free, stress-free, 
life. I mean, it's consuming. It's 24-7 and it's frightening, you know, to see the direction that the West is going in. You know, it's very frightening um, at times and I'm just over it. I'm over it now. Owen says, now nah, once you get to Africa, yeah, those elves will, will be gone. I get those, you know, the breeze and the um, clear air, right? Without all of the smog and all of the stuff. I'm just, ooh, I can't wait. Beginnings of a revolution right now in Nigeria. Revolution Agua. Yes. Yeah. It's beginning. It has begun. It has begun. And I'm I'm proud. I'm proud. That makes me proud to be an African because we have things, you know, I did the video. Don't do not idealize Africa. And you know, of course, the West is not paved in gold, right? But you know, sometimes we come with this idealized view of Africa and we don't sorry guys, we don't realize um that there are things that need to change. Things that need to be transformed. And so it's time. It, you know, there's time, there are things in the West that definitely need to be transformed, but um Africa's on the rise. And I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that. Stress, nothing but stress, right? Nothing but stress. Stress after stress. Nothing but stress. And it's sad. Um they have a unitary government in Nigeria. They lost their regional government after the war between the South and the West and the North. Um, the South, West and the North. I, you know, it's interesting too, and it's sad because I don't know a lot about Nigerian politics, um, but the little that I do know, I believe that the West is a part of you know, some of this kind of push, pushing, you know, the Nigerian government, kind of forcing them because they want them to handle this, um, you know, situation with the Yahoo boys and all that, because, you know, there've been a huge profile um, cases where people have been arrested and, you know, all of that. Even here in America, Nigerians have been arrested for being a part of, you know, fraudulent activities. But not everyone is a part of that. So I think, you know, we as we look at that, exactly what you're saying, you know, um, that we have to look at, too, the colonizers who were involved behind the scenes that we probably just don't see. That's sad. Regional, um, like how we have a state government and city government under federal government, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing that. That helps to break it down a lot because we in the west we want to know <laughs> but you know it's kind of hard to figure it out you're trying to listen to the um you know western type broadcasters tell everything but i've been watching a lot of nigerian news but um it's good to have to hear from people who know firsthand so thank you for that um Sanab, yes much better to be closer to the earth and nature yes i feel that i feel like going home and getting close to nature and getting close, you know, to back to eating right and eating healthy. It's kind of hard here in the West. Um, it's doable, but organic foods are so much more expensive than normal foods. And, um, you know, then GMO laden foods is, you know, it's kind of hard. And then, um, like, for example, this year, I've only had one good watermelon, uh, two, maybe three good watermelons this whole year. And I love watermelon. And so I get mad whenever I see people in Tanzania shopping in the markets in Gambia and Ghana and all over. And they have all these beautiful fruits and vegetables and they have, you know, watermelons galore and they're opening their watermelons. And then I was watching a video today. I got mad because they were over there in Tanzania and they were getting the fresh fish right out of the ocean and bringing it right. <laughs> I was jealous. I was Jay. big mad, honey, big mad that I was sitting here trapped in the West and they over there eating fresh foods, a ton of fresh foods, getting it right 
out the garden, what off the farm and bringing it right straight to the market. I mean, it's not even a day old. And then you got um, fresh pick, right? Fresh squeezed juice. We don't even know nothing about that. We don't even know nothing about that. And then meats that are fresh, you know, not frozen for days, but fresh, right? Fresh right then right there eating the fish fresh just fresh i was big man yes i was big man i was big jealous big j all green i had to put on greens that's how mad i was <laughs> oh snob yes um they got tons of issues yeah i believe it and it's sad too it's such a beautiful place uh, so now, yes, um, they are part of the propaganda and control over the messages. United Kingdom, China, America have their interest in Niger. Wow. And and that's sad in the way it's always been. And it's sad. And I hope it ends very soon because it's time to go home. And it's time for us to be able to reclaim our homeland. Right? And it's time for everybody else. To leave, you know, Africa alone. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to say it in a nice way. Um, they are part of the propaganda message. They are. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, only one good watermelon. Me, well, only one good watermelon. Jackie C says, me too. I love watermelon. Absolutely. I love watermelon. I love watermelon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They used to laugh at us because we love because i love watermelon you know make all the jokes about black people and watermelon i don't care i love watermelon and the wa watermelon juice is good too mm -hmm. i love it and smoothies is good blind guy's wife says um i watched updates of sars on dr Moonbeam and, and one of my channels but not in detail i figure i should first get up to date on the og terrorist <laughs> here in america <laughs> Right, just <laughs> right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get away from them. Oh Lord, but uh, right, absolutely. That's why I always preface everything I say with you know, because the thing, uh, -uh the West is not paved in gold. I'm just telling you, it's, it's it ain't all peaches and king over here, but um, still, <laughs> we have to send our love to our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. All right, let's see. We're wrapping up, guys. Um, that's why we gotta build and get those. Get you, hey, y'all see what he said? I'm just saying, y'all see what he said? Okay. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say in a nice way, but I appreciate you gone saying it. <laughs> um, Owen says I was planning on getting on getting out. What are you planning on getting? All right, guys, well, we're going to wrap this up. Hopefully, Owen will come in. I mean, he got cut off, but he'll come in and um, tell us what he was planning on getting. All right, guys, so follow me on all my socials. On Well, first of all, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of y'all for being here this late night impromptu sharing. So I appreciate you all so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's part of the Replay Nation. As you guys come in, know how much I appreciate you for um, watching the replay. Please give me a thumbs up and a like. I would appreciate it so much. And go ahead and subscribe. Only 71% of you, 71% of you watch the videos, but you're not subscribed. So I know you want to subscribe. Go ahead, subscribe. So you can know see all the notifications and be notified whenever I put out a video. I said, I was planning on getting a watermelon all summer long, but I didn't get around to it, though. I wanted to get me a seeded one. Yeah. Well, you didn't miss nothing. They weren't good. <laughs> they weren't good. Um, enjoy your trip. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Um, you can follow me on all of my socials on um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Sanav, which is my name right there in the corner. And um, I have a Instagram page, which is my repat journey. 
and my repad journey and that is on instagram and I, we have a facebook group on on uh, facebook as well and it is my repad journey um yeah okay and let me see what else i'm supposed to say i'm supposed to say of course you can do super chats with me all the time right um you can also donate to my gofundme and um you can donate to my gofundme you can also uh donate to my oh there's a facebook and instagram and twitter at small there it is all right all right um you can also donate to me on uh twitter what am i saying y'all i'm getting tired you can uh donate to me on um via paypal uh, at myrepadjourneygmail.com or you can donate via Cash App, uh, dollar sign Sanal. That's what I'm trying to say. I finally got it out. You can hit the join button to become a member and receive exclusive content, behind the scenes content, or you can become a Patreon, uh, a patron over on Patreon. Um, on Patreon, you can become a patron over Patreon. Y'all, I'm tired now. All right, <laughs> you. All right, guys. So, um, my email is um, myrepadjourney at gmail dot com. It just went across the ticker, and you all can become a part of the WhatsApp, and you can receive the newsletter. All right, guys. I think that's all I had to say. So, but I do hope um, that you are having a blessed night, and that everything is. Um, beautiful wherever you are thank you so much for sharing your time with me and for sharing the video i appreciate it so much um as always you you are amazing you are beautiful you are wonderful you are blessed and you are loved you know why honey baby because you just are and i'm gonna see you in another video real soon bye guys bye i love you guys have a good night and sleep tight. Thank y'all for being with me tonight. All right, guys. Yes, watermelons are awesome. They are full of all sorts of vitamins and minerals, minerals and packed with antioxidants. Great for hydration. And that's true. Absolutely. It's like eating the sun, right? Yes, and connecting with Mother Earth. I love it. All right. Enjoy your evening. You too. All right. Love you guys. Thank you for sharing your time with me. See you in another video real soon. Good night. Good night.